sound in this video. I'm in an edit suite and uh, it's a little bit tinny, so, uh, but we'll do our best to crack on. Um, today's session is about Red Media, okay? Red 8K Media that um, we have transcoded to HD ProRes 422 in order to edit. We've had dailies burnt into those clips and a lot applied. And our goal now is to demo how do you get out of Premiere with working with those transcoded clips, bring it in to Resolve and allow Resolve to link seamlessly to the 8K red RAW. Now this footage here was actually transcoded in Resolve and we can see the day is burning here. Now this is all HD media that I've danced up. Now the original media is all red, R3D, 8K. So I've edited this loose sequence here, it's particularly exciting, um, but this is the transcoded media. Now I want to relink this back in Resolve. Now the way that I do that, and the way that I've experimented with this is, um, here's my sequence over here, is if you go and to export, and you go to Final Cut Pro XML, this, uh, XML for me is always a go-to, but the XML actually doesn't work, or for my experimentation hasn't worked. This will just send the, the metadata, the timeline, and the media that you're looking at at the moment, transcoded, through to Resolve and you can't reconnect to the RAW. In fact, there's no option. Um, whereas if we choose the AF, we have a little bit more um, width, let's say. So we go to AF, um, you'll see this export setting here, you don't need to worry about any of this. We don't, you know, we don't want to break out the audio, there's no audio really attached to this. Click OK, and then I'm going to export, we call this version A, and I'll work this in AF. Okay, there's the AF made. Now let's minimize that. Now, in Resolve, what we can see here is that we have a master fold here. I've been doing some experimentation with AFs and EDLs and XMLs, um, but we're just going to import an AF in here today. Um, you'll notice in the media, this is all my raw media. Here it is here, look. So there's all the raw media. And I've manually imported that uh, prior to starting the session. There's no transcoded in here at all, it's just the 8K. Now if we go to AF, jump over to um, File, Import Timeline, and I'm just going to grab that number 8 version there, hit Open. Now this is the menu that we get. Now be careful here, because we want to make sure that um, automatically imports um, source clips into the media pool. Deselect that because we've already imported them. And we need to make sure that we link to those um, camera files, okay? Let's click OK. And it'll just give us a location of the media's there. And here we go. Very, very quickly, it is reconnected back to the RAW. And we can check it's the RAW. Just click on any clip, go to find a MIDI pool. And let's look at the metadata. And we can see this is, uh, there we go. There's the resolution there. So we're looking pretty good. Now, let me just show you the error that happens if you don't do it the way that I've just said. Let's, in the, the AF pool, let's just delete that. That's gonna delete the sequence, okay? If I go to AF, Same one again, number eight. And if I keep these two selected and I don't add link to, click OK, what's going to happen is, look, we have reconnected to the dailies of the R3Ds, um, and it's all HD. And we can prove that by right click, find a media pool, and there we go, it's the HD version. Okay, All the media is sitting in the same folder, in the AF folder here, along with the sequence. So it's really important when you're doing this process to be really thorough about how you're reconnecting from Premiere. Okay, so the XMLs are twitchy. I wouldn't use those. You're working from red and wanting to reconnect transcoded to raw. Use the AF method and make sure that when you use the AF method, you are importing and you're choosing your sequence making sure that uh, this is turned off and linked to source camera files is turned 
on and then it will reconnect to your media, the raw. But importantly here, no transcoded media can be in the project because that could cause a bit of a conflict, okay? You just want the original. So my advice, create a blank project and use that blank project um, as your conform, okay? I hope you've enjoyed that video. Please give me a like or subscribe or type in down below demos you'd like to see next. Catch you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.